Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove an app from your App Store Connect page. Now, for the longest time, we couldn't do this. We were just stuck with all our old apps. Well, now we can clean it up a little bit and I'm gonna show you. So here we are at the App Store Connect home screen. I'll have a link in the description if you're not familiar with this page. Of course, you will have to have an Apple developer account. So anyway, you wanna click on My Apps and this will show you all the apps you've uploaded uh, to the App Store. Maybe not necessarily release them, but you've uploaded them. So, you know, you can be doing tutorials or test apps, like this can get cluttered. So I don't know, if you're like me, I hate seeing this clutter. I wanna clean it up. I wanna get rid of these apps that I haven't touched in years. I'm not gonna touch ever again. So let's go into UReact, one of my very first apps. It was actually a uh, sticker app. Back when the I, iMessage sticker thing first came out, you could record your own reaction with your phone and put a sticker on it, kind of make your own reaction GIFs. Anyway, <laughs> didn't really do anything. Uh, so what you do is you go into general app information, scroll down here, hit uh, remove app, and you see, are you sure you want to remove you react, whatever? The key thing is here, this name will now go out into the public for somebody else to use, right? Not that anybody wants to use you react, but if they did, now it's available. So go and hit remove and it's gone. You get this notification, this app was removed from your account. And if you go back to App Store Connect, click that in the upper left. Now you should see uh, when I click on my apps, you see it is no longer there. And if you look in the upper right, like it's not gone forever. So don't worry about that. If you look in the upper right, all statuses, you see I now have removed apps. So if I click on removed apps, now you can see the ones that I have removed. So again, it's not gone forever, but it does just kind of clean up your, your overall app page. So again, if you have a bunch of them out there and it's cluttering up your app store page, that's how you get rid of it.